Alright, so hi, my name is Pao Vier. I'm the founder of Wabi Sabi Studio, and today I'll teach you the basics of wheel throwing. Yeah. So game ito. So this is your pottery's wheel. This is uh, I'll go through the series of steps. Ito yung clay natin. This is your stoneware clay. So this is already been prepped for you. So we'll go straight to the fun part. Wow. So Mababa to, ah. So, first position. So, this is operated by a foot pedal. So, it's this foot pedal. So, once you start pressing, it's gonna start spinning. The harder you press, the faster it goes. And then, heel to stop. And then, remember, kunyari, isa-set ko siya at this speed. I don't have to constantly press kasi if I remove my foot, nandiyan lang siya sa speed na yan. But, you want your foot rested here all the time. Pero not constantly pressing para hindi rin mapagod. So for position, you want to make sure your um, hands are directly aligned at the center of the wheel. So adjust nyo yung dikit nyo sa, um, sa potter's wheel as necessary. You, have, you want to make sure that your knees are locked onto the sides of the potter's wheel. And then golden rule when you're wheel throwing is that you keep your elbows glued onto your knees all the time. Because this is like your anchor. Okay, so we'll start. Um, una, hello basically. Introduce <laughs> 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 yourself. I start off by patting it, para medyo oval shape siya. And then I'm going to slam this at the center of my wheel. So, if you need to look for the center, dip your finger in water and then slide it along the sides. Hanggang kumabot ka sa gitna. So, wherever your finger stops, that's your center. Yeah, yung si center ko. So, now I'll take my ball of plate and then babato natin siya as centered as we can. Don't throw it at <laughs> such a high angle kasi ma off center ka. So, but give it just the right amount of pressure para to make it. Next thing that we have to make sure is to that ito is properly secured on the wheel. Kasi we're gonna start applying water. And then, pag nagdagay tayo ng water, we want to make sure na hindi siya magsisip in underneath. Kasi if that happens, lilipad to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we do that by, you can kind of twist it para dumikit lalo or tap it. When you're tapping it, make sure na cuff yung hands. Kasi if you just do this, magka-flatten siya. Mm -hmm. And then you can also spin your wheel and pat it. So making sure that do it talaga siya. Next thing we're gonna pinch the sides, just to give it extra security to make sure na hindi talaga siya hindi talaga magsisip in yung water underneath. And then ako what I like to do, I dip my finger in water, and then I'll press down on one side, making sure na nakasil talaga siya. Okay. So, yung pinaka-importante in the first part of wheel flowing is centering your clay. Centering, um, if you notice, I'm gonna spin this, sumasayaw-sayaw siya, di ba? So, we want to make sure it's properly centered first before we start shaping it. Centering is essentially um, forcing your clay towards the center of the wheel. So, first, I'm gonna soak my hands. So, make sure basang-basa yung hands nyo. Hand position, again, elbows secured on your knees. And then, we're gonna start off by... Didikit ko muna yung pinkies ko. And then, I'm gonna start closing my hands. So, the first time that you touch clay, magugulat kayo sa force niya. Kasi, syempre, it's controlled by the spinning wheel. So, the idea is, in control yung hands mo. Ikaw yung masusunod. Huwag hindi tayo magpapadala sa clay. So, whenever you feel like there's friction, you need to soak your hands in water, dip your hands in water. So, hand position, I'll show you. And dito yung pressure. I'm pushing forward and down. And then, itong side, the blades of my hands, naka, nandito siya sa wheel to, make it, to keep it from seeping to, to flat. So, pakita ko sa kabilang side. And dito yung pressure. Pushing forward and down. And then, ito nakapatong lang. So, I'll do it with two hands. So, really draw strength from your arms and your hands. It helps then kung if you lean forward. So, this, this takes some time. It's yung pinaka challenging part of wheel throwing, but it, it's also the most important part. So, there, if you notice, nabawasan na yung sayo niya, di ba? So, stay here for as long as you need. 
Pag hindi na lumalaban yung clay against your hands, that means you're centered. So the idea is, nagsislip lang yun. So nagsislide yung clay along with the formation of your hands. So when you're doing this, remember to breathe also. <laughs> and then, Parang hindi nga kung hindi nga. So also, make it a habit to clean your wheel head. Kasi nababasyal eh. So just take your sponge. Drag it along the side. This is really therapeutic. Thing. And then don't do this. I have a lot of students do this. Make the wheel work for you. Yeah. Now, the next thing that we do is we're gonna cone it. Coning is essentially squeezing the sides of the clay and then turning it into a tower. To do that, lock the yung fingers ko, and then I'm gonna use these parts of my palms to squeeze the clay up. So, andito siya. So, when you're doing this, make sure yung pressure nasa baba muna. See, I'm gonna start squeezing it. Once you squeeze it, the clay has nowhere else to go but up. See, don't disamahit siya. So once you have that, keep squeezing and then lift both hands, keeping that squeeze. And there's your cone. So you don't have to get it in one go. You can be gentle with your clay. Tapos kunyari may mga ganyang clay sa side. Extra. Just apply pressure, press down on one side, usually on your four o'clock. And then, may ipon yung clay dito sa gilid. And then, pag naipon yung clay, you can cone that again. So, apply pressure, squeeze, and then lift. So, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're really centered and focused. Kasi, you don't want to, kanyara, I'll show you what it looks like pag gumalaw yung hands ko sa gita. So, let's say, cone up, 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 bang, bang. Pasayaw din siya. So, you want to make sure pataas, steadily, and centered. Until, until you reach all the way up. Yeah. Now that we have our cone, it doesn't have to be as high as this. Medyo matas to. <laughs> We're gonna bring it back to that dome. So, why do we do that? Para hindi lang para pahirapan sarili natin. It's uh, making sure that yung clay nyo is equally moist inside and out and it's properly compressed. So, kung maga, this is the preparation part. Which is really important. So, now to bring it back to a dome, Ipupush natin siya. Ito, you're gonna use my right hand and then left hand here. So, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna push this forward and down. So, notice, from the top, magbebend talaga siya. Push forward and down. Or, ako personally, I just use my thumbs to press it forward and down. And then eventually, babalik tayo dun sa dome hand position natin. So, once you're here, you're gonna make sure your clay is centered again. So just keep squeezing it down. So, yeah. So just stay here until centered na siya. Take as much time as you need. So syempre, this takes a lot of um, time and practice, but I'll guide you through it. So maraming hand holding involved uh, <laughs> later on. So there, um, what pa? Yeah. So habang lumalaban pa siya sa hands nyo, don't stop. Stay here for as long as you need. How do you know pag yung lumalaban pa sa hands? Mag-feel mo siya against your hands. Pag tinutulak pa nung clay yung hands mo, that means you're not yet centered. So, <clears throat> you really have to be in control. Parang yung hands mo. <clears throat> so, right now, it looks relaxed. Pero, I'm really flexing at my arms. Mm -hmm. As in, really pushing the clay. Yeah. There. So, this is it. Diba? Hindi na siya sumasayaw. <clears throat> Again, make it a habit to clean your wee head. So, yan. Ito na. Ito na fun part. So, we're making cylinders for now. Kasi it's the most basic shape. And then, from there, you get up to play around with it. Now, you can make bowls or palayok or kung ano man. <laughs> so, now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna puncture the center of our clay. So, what I, I'm gonna use my right hand. Patong siya dito but not touching the side of my dome. Nalagay ko yung thumb ko in the middle. 
So first, get a feel of it. Make sure na hindi gagalaw-galaw yung magwigwigwig yung thumb niya. When you feel like it's secure enough, you're gonna start drilling down. Putasin natin siya. Me up to your first knuckle. Parang siya yung magpaform ng cylinder. So, ito yung inside niya. So, once you have that depth, Kanina, naka-angle yung thumb ko this way. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna angle it that way. Kasi, let's assume this is my my dome. May butas ka dito, di ba? Mm -hmm. You want kind of a shelf here. Yan. So, may extra shelf inside. That's why we're angling your thumbs this way. So, to do that, babalik ako. Nasa babae lang yung pressure. And then, with my with my thumb angled, I'm gonna start pushing the clay to my right side to open it. And so from here, bubo ka siya. There. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> so, once you have that, notice that my nipples are in the Just take your sponge and then push that down. There. So from here, compress the base, push sa gitna, and then push the clay towards the corner, and then balik sa gitna. So this way, we're just compressing the base. Ang gasa pumatay. Pag pumantay na siya, this is when we can start pulling our walls. So, ang cylinder, meron siyang anatomy. This is your base, these are the walls, and then this is the lip. Okay? So, what okay, we're gonna do now is start <coughs> pulling the walls of our clay up. When you say pulling in pottery terms, it's not the same as pulling a rope. It's pulling your clay a certain direction. So, in this case, we're pulling this lump of clay upwards to give it height. So to do that, two hands, uh, two fingers, uh, dominant finger. You can either use your pointer finger or index finger. Ako personally, I use my index finger kasi siya yung mm -hmm. <laughs> And then, outer finger goes outside. So you're always at your 4 o'clock. Lagi sa lang directly aligned wherever the inner finger is, that's where the outer finger is. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start spinning my wheel and then pagka spin ko ng wheel ko i'm gonna start applying pressure squeezing the clay together pero yung force is mostly coming from my outer finger yung inside is just the guide so you're pulling from the clay from the outside up and then habang nag spin yung wheel aakyat yung clay when the clay rises your hands will also lift together okay i'll show you what that looks like slowly lang Ay, dito, stay at your 4 o'clock. Remember, when the wheel starts spinning, huwag kayo sasama. <laughs> so, we're staying here. Okay. And then, naka-angle siya. Focus, focus your force sa ilalim muna. And then, once you feel the clay lift, your hands will also lift together. And then, as you reach the lift, you give it less and less pressure. And then once you start to feel friction, it's been kailang of water. And there. And then we do a lip check. Lip check is we're just gonna pitch this. And then use it as with our index finger, push this down. Para malinas yung lip. There. Another way to lift is to use your sponge. So with your sponge squeeze your index finger in the middle of the sponge and then gonna then this will function as your outer finger squeeze and then lift yeah. so remember that I said focus yung force sa labas I'll show you what it looks like pag if if elevate yung force sa loob. Para si, pag mas i-push ko yung inner finger. So, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna open up into a bowl. So, 
that's how you make bowls. Also, make it a habit to remove the water sa loob. Just take your sponge, atong lang, and then it's gonna remove it. So, let's say, naging bowl siya, and that's not your intention. We're gonna choke the clay naman. So, laging magkadikit yung fists. We're gonna squeeze the clay together. That's it. Yeah. And then, lift. And then, mabalik siya. Dun sa form na yun. So, from here, your, your clay can take about maybe 6 or 5 lifts, depending on how much water you put on it. So, the more, more moist it gets, the more fragile it is. So, don't Try not to apply water directly onto your clay body. Laging sinusok na yung hands. There. So, let's say happy na ako with the shape. So, from here, pwede nyo na siya paglaruan. Let's say, gusto nyo siyang gawing bowl. Open it up that way. Wow. Let's say, gusto nyo siyang gawing bote. Squeeze it together. Maybe make it higher. And then, this is your rib tool pala. This is used uh, to make your wall straighter. So, to use this, patong lang natin siya dito. This functions as your outer finger. So, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna push the clay from the in inside side. And then, push it towards my rib. So. Yeah. See how much height that gave it. And then, kunyari gusto nyo siyang isarado. And so just squeeze it and maybe color it and then magiging bote na siya. Paano pag gusto mo ulit bumalik dun sa kanina yung parang ano? Uh, cylinder? You know, uh, yung buong nakagawa lang, yung parang direction lang siya na. Ah! So kung that's your intention from the start, dun lang tayo sa straight. So, so na babalik ko pa siya. Pwede pa ibalik. Pwede pa. Pero it's quite challenging na. Kasi ang dami ko na nagawa sa kanya. Medyo na abuse ko na siya. But yeah, feel free to play around with it. Hanggang sa kaya pa ng clay nyo. Pero minsan moving ko siya. So, let's say I'm happy with the shape na. First thing that I'm gonna do is tatanggalin ko tong corners na to. We're using this tool. And then, placing it here. Push in. Para mas sexy yung, yung mug natin. Yan. There. So, the next step after this is actually removing this from the clay bag. So, to do that, first, hinga. <laughs> hinga muna. Huwag magpapanik. And then, before we do this, we want to make sure to yung yung your sponge at the top of your on top of your base para matagal yung water. Now, I'm gonna add water again at the base. So, making sure basa talaga siya all around. And then, this is your toggle wire. This is used to cut K. So, hold it on both sides and then ito twirl natin siya to make it shorter. And then, anchor with your thumbs. So, papatong ko siya here. I'm gonna spin my wheel and then start cutting. Okay? Bawal mag panic dito sa stage na to. And then, habang nagsispin, oh, well, towards you. Making sure this won't lift. And then stop when you reach the end of your piece. And then ako, I add a little bit of water after pa just to make sure this slides off. And then, to take it off the wheel, make a letter J with your hands, only push at the base. And then, until mag slide off siya, catch oh. with your palm, and then you have your piece. Oh. <laughs> and then, ilalagay natin siya sa wooden surface. Dito mo natin. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, clay is a forgiving um, medium. Let's say, yung piece na yan, di ako happy sa kanya. Mm -hmm. I could always destroy that, recycle oh, the clay, and then reuse it again. Even if it's dried na. Even if it's dried na. Mm -hmm. Dinudurog lang namin siya. And then, pwede na siyang i-reuse. So, it's encouraged na practice lang ng practice. So, any scraps of clay like that, put it aside kasi that can also be reused. Mm. Yeah. 
So those were a lot of steps and I went through them really quickly <laughs> para to give you guys more time. But we'll go through each step of the way all together. Uh, kasi syempre ang dami nun. I don't expect you to remember all of that. So we'll go through each of the steps all together. And then gagabayan kayo ko kayo every step of the way. Heads up lang, I will be touching your hands. Okay. And all. <laughs> yeah, okay. ready? Yeah, I asked how much.